Good morning, friends. It's Friday, and you got to love Friday. And we are beginning our Friday morning rejoicing in this wonderful day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we're glad in it as we have this great opportunity to dig into God's Word and to start our day Christ-centered, Christ-focused as we continue to go through the Gospel of Matthew. So go ahead and get out your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 18 as we continue to go through this gospel verse by verse. And what's important as we get into the gospel of Matthew 18 today in our section <clears throat> is to understand what was happening before our section and just after our section. And so anytime we open up into God's word, it's important to see in that chapter, what is that context? What's happening before? What's happening after? as God continues to be on the move in the Gospel of Matthew as we follow Jesus. Once you get to Matthew 18, go ahead and hit the share button there as we continue to build believers to reach out and connect people to Jesus. The question for us this morning as an icebreaker is, what is your favorite activity when you were a child? Your favorite activity as a child? What were those things that you loved to do when you were a kid? And I think about... Uh, my childhood days that we played outside a lot. And one of the things we played was a freeze tag or different games outside. And so you wake up in the morning on a beautiful morning like today and you knock on your neighbor's doors and the kids in the neighborhood would come out and we would play all day. And some of the games and some of the sports we played were great activities. But there were some times that some of those kids couldn't play and it may be a rainy day and I had to play inside. And one of the favorite things that I liked to do as a kid playing inside was Legos. I loved to build things with blocks. A flashlight tag, yeah, uh, that was awesome. Um, to make plays in a garage, baseball, softball. Yeah, when we think of all those activities that we just loved to do when we were a kid, going to the playground or going to the park, that was always a big deal. And sometimes I remember we'd get Kentucky Fried Chicken and be able to have like a picnic at the park. Farm animals, that's awesome. And I remember even trips to uh, the zoo and different activities or field trips. But uh, one of the things I love to do was Legos and building blocks. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Are we building blocks or are we stumbling blocks? Are we helping people grow in their relationship with Jesus or are we getting in the way of their relationship with Jesus? And so today is a text that we have to check ourselves. And so we're going to look at Matthew 18 as God calls us to be building blocks, not stumbling blocks. And so let's look at 18 and verse 7. Woe to the world for temptations to sin. Now as we look at temptations to sin, Jesus uses a strong word there, woe, woe. And uh, that's a, a word that is not good. It means woe to you, judgment, uh, condemnation. It means not good things for those who um, cause those to be tempted to sin. And let's look at our context. Before we get to verse 7, where we left off yesterday, it said it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea for those who cause little ones to sin or to fall away a belief in Jesus. And so Jesus here is addressing his love and his protection for children and for children of the faith. And he's saying that uh, kids trust people. They trust adults. They trust people. And for those kids, we don't want to get in the way of them not believing in Jesus or if they're believing in Jesus, cause them to turn away from Jesus. And so that's why this strict warning of this woe for those who are causing those to be tempted to sin. And so when it comes for the love of Jesus and the protection of children, of the Lord desiring them to have a relationship with them and for them to grow in faith with Him and to do life with Him, there are two things we look at in our text today that he says that it shouldn't happen when it comes to the faith of children. One, we shouldn't tempt them to sin. And two, we're going to get to right here. Verse 8, For it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life 
with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. So strong words of our Savior Jesus today that he takes sin seriously and especially faith, growth, and development of children seriously. And so we shouldn't tempt them to sin or to be a stumbling block for those children. We also shouldn't neglect them. And we also have to check ourselves because we are modeling and mentoring to them. And so Jesus is saying, what are those stumbling blocks in your own life that you need boundaries to put in place? Because he takes sin seriously, because sin gets in the way of our relationship with the Lord. And he takes it so seriously. He is the reason why he came down from heaven to live a perfect life and to go to a cross to suffer and die for you and for me. And to say those words, that Greek word to tell us die, it is finished. The debt has been paid. And so it is so important when we look at Jesus' strong words that maybe this is the first time or we've heard these words many times, but we can look at those strong words and say, you know, we don't take those literally. We don't actually cut off our arm if it causes us to sin or we actually don't gouge out our eye or cut off our foot. But just because we don't take it literally doesn't mean that we don't take it seriously. And we need to take sin seriously because Jesus takes it seriously. And that he has created us to be in relationship with him, to love him and to grow with him. And we are loving and growing when we are following him and his word. And when we're not following him or his word, that sin has consequences in our life and also in the lives of those around us. And so that's why Jesus using strong words here and strong language to protect the little ones in their faith, that we don't tempt them to sin, but also, too, they're watching us, and we are mentoring them, and we are their role models. And so if they see sin in our life and we're not taking it seriously, we're not putting boundaries there, we can become a stumbling block. When Jesus calls us to be building blocks, to build each other up, to live out the faith and to teach the faith to others and to watch others grow and develop in their relationship with their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so today, it's a good day for us to check ourselves. When it comes to our life, what are those sins in our life that God is calling us to address? And what extreme measures and boundaries do we need to put into place to not continue to do those types of sins and to check ourselves? Because um, it's so easy sometimes to look at the Word of God and just because we don't take it literally in this section to not take it seriously. And Jesus says, take it seriously. Whoa, whoa. And so today we put the brakes on, we go, whoa, and we check ourselves and we say, what are those things that are getting in the way of our relationship with Jesus that today we need to really pray about and to put some boundaries and some extreme measures in place so that it doesn't continually trip us up or cause us to stumble and fall in our relationship with the Lord and also that it doesn't cause others around us to stumble and fall because of the witness that we are to them and that we're living our life. And so what do we do as Christians when we sin? We confess it, we own it, we admit it, we take it to the cross, we receive God's forgiveness and grace and his strength to turn and to repent and to go a different way, to do life differently. And that's what he calls us to do. And so today we just pump the brakes and say, whoa, let's check ourselves and are we following Jesus and is there anything that's getting in the way of our relationship with the Lord or that's also causing others to trip up or to stumble or fall. So let's go out as followers of Jesus today and be building blocks to grow in our relationship with him but also to build each other up and to live a witness for others and that they would see Jesus in the way that we act and the way that we live our life and the way that we conduct ourselves. We bow our heads to pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we're thankful that you knew of our sinful condition and that you loved us so much that you did something about it, something that we couldn't do ourselves. You sent us your one and only Son, Jesus, to come down from heaven, to take on human flesh, to be true man and true God, to live a perfect life and go to a cross for us, defeating sin, death, and the devil. And you give us victory today through your truth and through your grace and by the power of your Holy Spirit to overcome those sinful patterns or behaviors that get in the way of our relationship with you, Lord, and that also cause stumbling blocks to those around us as it hurts our witness. And so, Lord, help us to own it, to admit it, to confess it, to leave it at the cross, to receive your strength and your grace 
and to put some boundaries in place so that we can continually grow in our relationship with you and to get rid of all those things that get in the way of our love for you. We're thankful that you continually knock down those walls and you build bridges of your love to your children and to your people. And we pray for the little ones, Lord, that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior, that they will grow strong in their faith, and that you will always guard and protect them, especially from the evil one. And all God's people said, Amen. Friends in Christ, have a blessed day as we go out to be building blocks to the kingdom of God as we follow Jesus and his word. Amen.